Welcome to Biology at Ease. My name is Renu Kanthwal and in this channel, I'll be posting videos related to various contents of biology. I'll be entirely focusing on the biology contents at primary and secondary level. So let's begin this channel with my first topic, cell. Cells are the fundamental structural and basic unit of life. They are the building bricks of living system, which means that all living organisms are made up of these small units called cells. The study of cells is known as cell biology. And cells for the first time were discovered by a scientist called Robert Hooke in a thin slice of cork and he observed them as honeycomb and gave them a Latin word called cellula. Cellula means little rooms. The living component of the cell is known as protoplasm. So let's have a rough sketch of cell. This is our cell. Whatever living content is present inside the cell, it is called protoplasm. So let's study the different parts of the cell. There are three major parts of the cell. The first part is cell membrane which is also known as plasma membrane. The second part of the cell is nucleus. And the third major part is cytoplasm. So let's begin with cell membrane. Cell membrane is the outermost protective covering of the cell. It is highly flexible in nature and it is semi-permeable which means it does not allow the entry of all substances inside the cell rather it is only permeable to certain substances. At second we have nucleus. It is an oval or spherical structure present inside the cell. It contains hereditary information and it is the largest cellular structure known. It is responsible for controlling all the cellular activities. At third, we have cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the protoplasmic content present within the cell membrane but outside the nucleus. So let's draw it again. This is our cell. This is plasma membrane, the outermost covering of the cell. Inside the cell, we have this oval or spherical structure called nucleus. Nucleus contains hereditary information. The sap present inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm and the protoplasmic content within the cell, within the plasma membrane of the cell but outside the nucleus is called cytoplasm. So this is our nucleoplasm inside the nucleus, outside the nucleus but within the plasma membrane we have cytoplasm and cytoplasm and the nucleus together forms protoplasm which is the living component of the cell. One more important thing, there is one more layer outside the plasma membrane in some organisms. This layer is known as cell wall. Cell wall is present in plant cells, bacterial cells and protists but it is absent in animal cells. So plasma membrane is the outermost protective covering in all the organisms but cell wall is the protective covering present in plant cells, bacterial cells, fungi but it is absent in animal cells. So let's recapitulate whatever we have learned. Cell, the fundamental units of life consisting of three major parts, plasma membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. Plasma membrane is the protective layer. In some organisms like in plants, protista, there is one more layer called cell wall surrounding the plasma membrane. The second component is our nucleus which is an oval structure present inside the cell and cytoplasm is the protoplasmic content present within the cell membrane but outside the nucleus. Now there are two types of cells. Prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cells are also known as primitive cells. They have a size of 1 to 10 micrometer. While eukaryotic cells are larger in size, measuring about 5 to 100 micrometer. Secondly, the prokaryotic cell do not consist of a well-organized or well-developed nucleus. So, we can write a well-organized nucleus 
is absent in prokaryotic cell whereas in eukaryotic cell it is present this is our cell consisting of nucleus there is one more important structure present inside the nucleus called nucleolus this nucleolus is absent in prokaryotic cells while it is present in eukaryotic cells now as we have learned the protoplasmic content of the cell is called cytoplasm this cytoplasm consists of various sub microscopic structures and these structures are known as cell organelles so membrane bound cell organelles are absent in prokaryotic cells while they are present in eukaryotic cells and lastly the prokaryotic cells are present in bacteria while eukaryotic cells are present in higher organisms like plants and animals so we will be discussing each type of cell and the cell organelles in my coming videos i hope you like the content of this video and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you so much for watching